Hello guys, how are you, you big bunch of beautiful peeps? Uh, so Shane Kennedy here from Sled Dogs and Therapy UK and I'm here with Mackie. Come here boy, Go say hello to peeps. He was in, in frame just before the cameras went off. Don't work with animals or people they say. Wow. There you go, good boy. Um, a lot of people ask me like, how do I get um, my dog's attention? <laughs> attention on me? As you can see, I don't know. It, he's launch himself this lad. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually a really good question. It's actually not that hard to, to do. And it's, if you are looking to get your dog into doing up therapy work, uh, socializing, just generally, it's a really good thing to do. You need to be able, and that's the thing about socializing, is people think it's exposure, um, and it's not. That's, that's a part of it. But it's, especially with therapy, you know, you need to be able to keep a controlled, measured interaction with your dog. It's not just about letting them just go jump on people. You need to be a part of that. Um, because number one, there's no such thing as a bomb-proof dog. Somebody comes up to me and says, oh, I want you to use my dog for therapy. Well, I don't take volunteers yet, anyway. But number one, that is kind of, for me, an automatic qualification. No such thing as a bomb-proof dog. There's trained dogs, and as you know, we try our best to uh, mitigate things, socialize them, train them hard, keep them friendly. But we also have to understand that they are dogs. Yeah, they're not lassie. They're, they're not super dogs. They are dogs. And I've got to respect them as that. I'm not trying to put um, human values and morals onto them. Okay, because they're great as they are. They don't need that. So what I mean by this is, is let's say, um, give an example. You know, it was warm a few weeks ago and it was like our last kind of warm weekend. I was out with uh, my wife, my, my baby, and um, Mackie. And we went to the park. It was like the first time I'd been to the park walking in for a while, because I got, obviously everyone by now knows I got sick. Oh, he's lying down, so I've got to work around my dog. So, good lad. So, hello fella. So I'm walking Mackie, and my wife takes baby onto the swings for the first time, it's great. So I'm thinking it's a great opportunity to keep bonding with this fella and do a little bit of training, just kind of like, you know, get him switched on. Uh, and obviously there's lots of people there with their little dogs and with their fold out chairs and all the little yappy dogs are tied to the chair kind of coming out going <laughs> at Mackie, kind of like, like on their lead going nuts. So everyone would assume that the Malamute especially would lunge and, you know, tell them to o one two one, uh, And he doesn't. And it's like, right, but I need him to really be on me. Because if he's lunging, um, he's, I'm not in control. And people think, well, that's obvious. But yeah, if you're in therapy, you don't know anything could happen. What happens if a child, I mean, I'm not talking about therapy. This could be just down the street. This has happened before. And you get some like little kitty running up and like jumping on the dog like that, out of nowhere. Uh, dogs don't like that. And you know, that's not cool. And then usually the parents wondering, all going, it's all right, he grew up with dogs. He's all right, he loves dogs. And it's like, your kid's gonna get bit. Not by mine, but you know, at some point. And to be honest, that's not the dog's fault. Because some dogs just don't like that. Or the dogs might be having a bad day. Uh, or there might be a situation your dog's not too sure on, but it's still measured. They can, um, they're socialized, you could say, tolerate it, I don't know. Um, but you know, you, you've gotta be able to read your dog and think, how's my dog doing? Actually, my dog's getting tired, or well, he's a bit off today. He's, I don't know. Cool, that's okay, deal with it. So in this situation with these all these yappy dogs all over the gaff, and the owners are screaming at their dogs like, Aah! not actually telling the dog what they want them to do. So what do I do? Okay, I need Mackie switched on. I had some treats on me, which is great. Lure and reward is really, really important. Uh, anyone who says, Oh, if you use treats for training, the dog's going to focus on the treat and they're not doing it for you. These are Malamutes, they're not just gonna do it just for you, all right? It doesn't work that way, you know, sorry. But, you know, they, they, they do love you uh, and you're part of their pack and they do anything for you uh, because they love you, but it's not, they're not just gonna look at you and come back to you just because, well, it's Shano, he's all right, he is. So, one of the best ways to get them to, is people have probably heard of this one, is the watch. Um, if you've ever done any puppy training or anything like that, it's very, very common. Hey boy, so I'm gonna show you now. So you get your treat. I've got some ham here, yeah. Okay, so he's interested, good. Okay, so you do it from here, and you do watch. Watch, 
Good boy. Grateful puppy. Oh, good boy. Well done. That's good. I like that behavior. So you bring it to this, bring it to your face, and he's watching where the treat goes, but you lay a point and say, watch. So the, the voice and the action eventually will give, when you say, watch me, mate, it means eyes on me, yeah? Cool. Good boy. Good boy. That's good. Now that's an easy one. It's a boring one, if I'm honest. This one's actually really cool. It's called touch. So you put a bit of truth. Wait, oh wait. Good boy. Put a bit in between your hand like that, yeah? And I've got a treat in this hand. This is the one he's gonna get. Touch. Good boy. Take that. Good boy, good boy. See that? It's, they love it. So they're gonna come up and gonna try and go like that. Okay. Touch. Good boy. Now I don't, this is, there you go. Take it for that, good boy. I don't give him the treat. He goes to the other hand for the treat. Don't, they come to you. Okay, that's really important. And then eventually, do that about a hundred times in different situations. Okay, and then, no, oh, good boy. That's okay, I didn't ask for it, but I, good boy. See, he's looking at my hand, and he's like, good, good. And he touch, good boy, good boy. Do it the other way, look at that, touch. Oh, ooh, he's, it's different, it's the other hand. Touch. <laughs> Good boy, sorry, he delayed, he was burping. And then, no treat, don't rush it. See, and then you can touch, good boy, touch, good boy, touch, good boy, touch. All right, and it's a game, oh, good boy. And then finish off with a good few, okay. See, there, there's Coda now, she she wants to get all involved, away. Okay, good boy, good boy, good boy. Once a dog's got his attention on you, you basically he's motivated or she's motivated and it's all about just what motivates a dog uh so all of a sudden when you're trying to socialize your dog uh in this case in the scenario i was telling you about he does the walk to heel so it's like okay finish and he walks around treat and he'll sit by me and he's walking like trotting and he's looking up all the time right past these dogs and i will be honest it was smug mode i was really smug i was so chuffed and it was he just looked like really, really really like under control uh, and that for me is sometimes its own reward from there you can then use so much more you can use that skill to get his attention if he's uh starting to kind of zone out you can bring it back with a game like that and then he's focused back on you really good tool uh, if you've got a dog uh use it try it remember try it with the treat in between your fingers you give it with the other hand let him go very very easy it might take them a few goes no worries okay Try not to keep saying touch, touch, touch. If he's not, okay, just leave it there. Okay, you already get their attention with the treat. As you can see, he was switched on. He was just like, you know, ham. <laughs> Good boy. Okay. If it, it, you know, and it might be that. It might be if he's not treat orientated, it could be a toy, something like that. So be creative if you have to and enjoy. Touch, 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 touch. Good boy. Look at that. He's good boy. He's straight in again. Okay, so. Maki, come here, boy. Good boy. So this is uh, Maki and Shane. All right. You've been a good boy. You can have one because that's good. Good boy. See, good boy. Okay, guys, take care. All the best, and we'll catch you soon.